For me, it's really important to have something or some type of exercise that's real easy to do. I don't mean easy as in the exercise is easy. I mean minimal logistics. You don't have to enjoy it. It just needs to be something that you can do most likely from your home and with little to no equipment and with little to no preparation. So when you're not totally motivated, you can just do it and get it done. I recommend listening to podcasts or music. That really helps me a lot. This is my surfboard right here. And going surfing is the sport that I do that requires the most logistics. I can't do it by myself. I have to get help getting across the sand and carrying my board. My mountain bike, although there's a lot less logistics involved, it's still, I gotta load it up on the car, I gotta drive to the trailhead. There's a lot of gear involved with the mountain bike because riding on the road is one thing, riding on the trail is a whole other animal. I need to be prepared, I need to carry tools, I need to carry safety equipment, and I need to make sure I have all my ducks in a row so that I can be safe. That takes effort. A lot of you have seen, you know, the road hand cyclists, they're really low to the ground. They're usually laying down. Those are race bikes. That's not my style. I just want to cruise around. I want to check the waves. I want to say hi to friends. I want to get my heart rate up. I basically want to go for a jog. Veronica and I are trying this new fad called uh, jogging. I believe it's jogging or yogging. It might be a soft J. I'm not sure, but apparently you just run for an extended period of time. Little horchata for me is the equivalent of throwing your shoes on and running out the door. That's really, really important. This goes for everybody, whether you're in a wheelchair or not, you need a type of exercise that you can just access easily. Just throw on your shoes and go. I'm gonna jump in little horchata and get some exercise.